hello guys welcome back to my channel programming with a purpose in this video i am going to show you how to manipulate and apply different filter to images in the core image uh, framework by apple uh, so let's start by creating a project uh, for image processing in this project i am going to create a simple ui as i created in the uh, my previous video uh, i am attaching the link here in this video i am going to use a horizontal stack view with two image views one image view is the original one and one is after applying a certain filter follow this tutorial to create the ui as i have created and apply the relevant constraints as shown in this video
So the first filter that I am exploring here is the sepia filter. In this, I am creating a, basically a, U, a CI image from UI image. CI image is the format in which this framework core image read the images. And then I am uh, creating a filter um, with the name CI sepia tone. This is basically, a, a, you can get this name from a list of filters that uh, core image library provides. After that, I'm setting certain values. In this way, you can set the different parameters of the filter. I'm setting here intensity and uh, the uh, for key, KC input intensity key. These keys are uh, embedded in this filter library. So when you are using it, you can set the relevant parameters using the for key attribute. Um, another is that input image key, which is obviously the CI image. CI image is the format in which this library read images. Uh, then it will create an output image. After filtering and on filter button tabbed, we are we can show uh, this image in the filtered image view. So the next filter that I'm exploring here is the CI Gaussian blur filter. It is used in the blurring of images. Um, it helps in the neutralization of different sort of noise in the image. Okay, so here is uh, there are two, uh, you can see the parameters are input image, which is obviously our CI image and input radius, uh, which is basically uh, the key name is radius and default value is 10 as you can see here. So basically I'm going to implement this in my code and I am um, copying all the apply CPI filter code and passing the radius parameter here and then I will be calling this function on filter button tabbed apply Gaussian blur with different values and then I am going to run my code see how the code is set and how different values are applied and what will be the result after playing uh, this code follow this tutorial So the next filter that I am exploring here is CI Bloom filter. Uh, you can see it has different parameters, input intensity, input radius. Uh, I am not using any parameter in the code. I am using the default value of the parameters and see you how, um, uh, uh, and show you how to use this filter. 
and then call it on apply filter button uh, see how the results are changed when we apply this bloom filter to our image So the next filter I'm exploring here is the CI Comic Effect filter. This filter uses uh, sharpened edges on our test image and then applies a color half tone effect. Uh, I am basically using this filter to draw a parallel with the uh, effect that I've used in my GPU framework tone filter in my previous video. You can see that results are pretty, pretty much different in both these cases. This gives a comic like effect to our image. And that filter, the GPU uh, framework tune filter, gives a sort of cartoonish feeling to our image. So let's see how to use this filter in our code and uh, run the results to see uh, what output it produces. So this is all for this tutorial. You have seen that I have applied four different filters to my test image and how results are changed with the application of each of these filters. These filters can be cascaded as well and uh, you can write your own uh, filters uh, in this code image framework uh, Xcode using Xcode and uh, produce, get the results you want. Um, there are a range of filtering libraries on App Store as well and you can manipulate, change different parameters in these filters and write your own to create the effects you see in different top of the line image processing apps. Kindly follow and subscribe this channel and uh, for further updates in Xcode and Swift tutorials as well as I will be covering some more image related uh, stuff in my upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye.